Hey guys, it's Jazz and I'm back with another video for you guys and as you can see by the title, I am doing the mixed girl tag. Um, if you enjoyed this video, at the end of this video, please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Also, comment down below any ideas that you have for my next video or anything that you want me to do for my next video. So, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so I have the questions right here. There's 10 on my iPad and I'm going to try and find more because... I don't feel like 10 is enough, but, um, yeah, let's just go. Okay, so the first question is, what are you mixed with? My mother is Puerto Rican, fully Puerto Rican, and my dad is fully black. Um, so, my next question is, um, what ethnicity, I can't say the word, what, I'm just gonna say, what race have you often been mistaken for? Um, I don't wanna be racist. I can't even say the word either. But in my school, there's a lot of African American people, so you know they often like just assume that I'm all black too. So let's go to the next question. Is your hair curly or straight? My hair is curly. Uh, it's not this color. It's like a light brown. It's not like nowhere near this color. But I just like this color because it like goes with my skin. You know. Okay, so. Was was coming different? What was coming from different backgrounds challenging growing up? No, it was not challenging because nothing, nothing was really segregated or anything like that. Um, it was mostly just one question that I had. Like, if I was maybe like black and white, who? And it still goes for the races that I am right now. Who? Like, what side would I mostly be accepted on? I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but that's just a question I have. Um, which background do you ex embrace most? I live with my dad's side and my dad's side. All black, so um, I don't feel like I embrace my black side more. I just, there's nothing, I think I embrace them both equally like i do rep my flag of being puerto rican a lot and at the same time i do go to school and i wear like little african american wear and i just feel like i'm proud to be black and it's little things like that and they all come together in the something big um which back oh no i just read that question have you ever been teased for being different um I don't feel like I'm different, but no, I've never been teased, but I feel like, I don't feel like I've been teased, like, or like, oh my gosh, I keep saying like, but I just like, I don't feel like I've been teased, like, maybe people will, um, keep thinking I'm black, or like, my race is just fully black, and I'll get like a little frustrated from that, and just give up, but like, I don't feel like I'm teased. Like, I don't take it to heart. Um, have you ever been ashamed of being multiracial? Um, no. Not at all. Not at all because I don't feel like, um, I'm different from anyone else. I don't feel like I should be ashamed. I feel like a lot of kids nowadays are being mixed with more nationalities. Um, so it's nothing crazy. So, um, my next question is, do you feel that black, I mean, oh my god, do you feel that being mixed has its benefits? Um, being mixed has its benefits? Sure, I guess. If you are mixed with, um, things that have their own, um, that have their own, language like i don't know maybe if you're french and like puerto rican i don't know i don't i just made something up and you have your and you can speak both languages then maybe you can get like um you can get a better job what you want to say i mean if you can speak one language too you know like english and spanish you can get a good job too because you can be like a translator or something like that like I don't know. But I feel like a negative part about being No, never mind. Not really, never mind. Um 
what makes being multiracial a beautiful thing? I feel that being multiracial is just like maybe you can relate to more things in like life rather than you just being one and just being like I only embrace embrace this or like I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. But it's like, you know, it's a good thing. It's like, it's a good thing. Like, from your hair to, like, you know, your skin color, the melanin that you have. It's just beautiful. You should embrace that. <laughs> um, what makes, oh, any advice to someone who's struggling with their multiracial identity? Um, I feel that a lot of girls these days, they do lie about their races because they want to be like i guess quote unquote foreign like <laughs> oh i guess like people do lie about that and i even catch boys lying about that too and it's just like if you are one thing you should just embrace that and from the way you embrace that you feel more foreign i don't know but like or more like special because i know a lot of a lot of times like on instagram people will mistreat dark skins and be like oh forget a dark skin i want a light skin um or something like that or like i want a light skin baby or something like that and people pay attention to those little things on instagram and they start to like you know putting throwing in lies about their nationalities but really you should just be honest about your nationality and embrace the fact of what you are and that's pretty much all i have to say about that okay guys so that was the end of my video um well my mixed girl tag video i don't have any more questions well i couldn't find any so that's the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and really take the advice i gave you into hand and that's really it subscribe and thumbs up for more